Hallelujah. Glory be to the living God. I want to talk about Holy Ghost School. You know, now this ain't for everybody. This is specifically for the ones that God has chosen, that God has anointed. The ones that God is going to use for his glory to advance his kingdom. Look, we all have to go through Holy Ghost schools. Today, you got all of these people with all of these titles. I'm prophet such and such. I'm prophetess such and such. Evangelist such and such. Apostle such and such. And a lot of people have never even went through Holy Ghost school. They may have went to Bible school, but haven't went to Holy Ghost school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ha haven't went to Holy Ghost school. Just went to Bible school and went and got ordained by a man, but haven't been ordained by God. Went and got a certificate that just got saved one week, next week, next thing you know, they got a mic in their hand, proper line and everything. Now, now, let me, let me tell you about Holy Ghost School. You see, Holy Ghost School is this school of affliction. It's this school of persecution. It's this school that we enter into. It's a school of trials. But God sends us through Holy Ghost school to break us because he wants broken vessels. He sends us through this Holy Ghost school not because he angry at us, not because he don't love us, not because he don't care about us. But it's to detach that pride that he see inside of our hearts. It's to position us. It's to prepare us for the place that he will have us to be so that we can save many people alive only through him so that we can convert many people over to Christianity so that we can be used for his glory. Now let me tell you about these people that had to go through Holy Ghost school. Ever read about Joseph? <laughs> Maybe you've heard about him. Joseph went through Holy Ghost school. Hallelujah. He was betrayed by his own brothers. They, they sold him to Egypt, sold him into slavery. He wasn't even a slave. He had to suffer a trial. He had to be afflicted. These was people that he loved. This was his comfort zone. He had to be taken out of his comfort zone. Hallelujah. But not knowing that God was positioning him. He didn't understand that God was positioning him. God was preparing him. God was taking him through Holy Ghost school. He had to be thrown in prison. He was falsely accused by Potiphar's wife that said that he raped her. He didn't even rape her. He fled away from that temptation. But he was in Holy Ghost school. And I can only imagine that he was in now screaming why God wondering what was going on why was these things happening to him knowing that he loved the Lord knowing that he had been chosen God had already given him dreams but he didn't understand that he was in Holy Ghost school only to one day reign side by side beside the great Pharaoh of Egypt to save many people alive that man was in Holy Ghost school let me tell you about David he went through Holy Ghost school. Oh yeah. David went through Holy Ghost school. That great David that slew the giant Goliath. He went through Holy Ghost school. After he got anointed. He was a young boy when he got anointed. But he had to go through Holy Ghost school. He went to the kingdom to be. Uh, to play his instrument. The psaltery for Saul. Who was the great king at this time. Over all Israel. He played the. The. Uh, the psaltery for him so the evil spirits could flee. But the same David, the same David who went out and slew all of these people uh, because he had faith to go up against Goliath to be uh, in the army of Israel. The same David had to go through Holy Ghost school after Saul got jealous of him. See, Saul was that trial that, that God placed in his life to afflict him. Saul was the one that God was using to break David. David fled for his life for years out in the wilderness. David had to sleep in caves. David could only eat uh, what was given to him by the people that still believed that God's hand was on him. David went through, uh, he had to leave from his comfort zone. He went through many trials. He had to suffer. He had to be afflicted, not understanding that he was in Holy Ghost school, not understanding that God was preparing him to become the king over all Israel. So my friend David, he went through Holy Ghost school as well. 
Esther did too. A woman. Let me tell you about Esther. Esther went through Holy Ghost school. <laughs> Before she could become the queen to one day save her people from death. She had to be taken out of her comfort zone. She even had to change her identity. Hallelujah. She had to be taken away from the place where she felt love, the place where she felt comfort, the place from her family. She had to be taken away from her uncle. She had to be placed into where she would be going through an affliction, going through a trial, not understanding that she was in Holy Ghost school, only to one day become the queen to save her people from death. And what I love about it is that while she was going through Holy Ghost school, she kept her faith in God. She kept her integrity in God. And that's what we got to do. My friend, we all got to go through Holy Ghost school. So you're not alone. I've been going through Holy Ghost school for a few years now. But I can say that I'm on my way to graduation. Hallelujah. We have to go through Holy Ghost school. God has to break us. He has to get that pride out of us. He has to position us because he wants broken vessels. That's what he wants to use. Broken vessels. He has to render. He has to get that, that, that the spot of pride that he sees inside of us. And he don't do it because he hates us or because he upset with us. It's because he want to use us for his glory. When he saved us, he didn't take us to heaven. He left us here. He left us here because we have a purpose. He wants to use us to win a lot of souls. But God is only going to use broken vessels. So my friend, if you've enrolled in Holy Ghost School, endure, pass the test, and you will graduate. And once you graduate, you will get to your destiny. You'll get to the promised land. Like the children of Israel had to go through Holy Ghost School to become a holy nation of peculiar people. My friend, Let's graduate. Holy Ghost School. Be blessed.